What's up everybody, Tindo here, and a warrior princess, Savers. Today is my favorite day of the week because it's half off day, so expect a lot of Savers shopping today. Stick around. Look at my eyeballs! Ah! Ah! Okay, so I saw these whenever I first walked in because they are like right next to the door. And I was like, ah, oh, $3.99, they're probably like $5 cups, it's probably not worth it. They are half off, so they'd be two bucks. Still probably not worth it, but I looked them up and they actually like, the full set goes for like 150 bucks. And Spock I saw sold for about 15, so. I love it when I'm wrong. There's not been a lot of video games here lately, almost none. And it's looking to be the same. I'm not sure why that is, but. Uh, just not been any. A nice. Oh, there's more. Oh, that's a little cracked. That's okay. Let's see what this guy cracked too. But that's good. Found two. We were here about a week ago. I remember there being a couple of bag toys that I thought maybe I wanted. So we're gonna check that. I'm checking the regular toy wall right now. Just it's pretty bare. But there was like some cheaper Beyblade stuff in here. It's been long ago enough that I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be here. But we're gonna look. We're gonna make sure. There's some Minecraft action. I'm not buying the whole bag just to get that, but that's cool. Hmm. Tap of the pig. Pokeball Rubik's cube. I mean, there's a lot here. Don't get me wrong. Another Rubik's cube. Hmm. All right, not seeing anything. That's all right though. Okay, so every time I go to the Savers, there are always really good Pyrex here. <gasps> Yay! Oh, <laughs> she's so cute. She's got the little lid. Happy camper. Oh my God, there's another one. It doesn't have its lid, but I'm not mad about it. I'm getting it. Look at them. Here's probably the coolest thing I've found. A vintage Cyclops figure. Not gonna jump at the whole bag just for that, but I like seeing that. I'd have bought it if it was a 12 incher, but I don't really go after the little ones too much. I found something I've gotta get. I'm betting if you watch this part, you already know why I bought these, but uh, I'm buying those giant glasses. Uh-oh. Wow. It even has its remote. Hmm, will that fit on the shelf cubby at home? The fact that it has a remote is pretty awesome. I got super pumped. I was like, look at all these comic books. But they're just boxes. But that's okay, because I need some of these. So we're gonna buy a few. I don't know how many, but $2 is a good price for them. I mean, they're a dollar a piece. Should I just get them all? Uh, I can't imagine a situation where I need them all, but let's just get them. I don't know how to get them out of here, though. After. Dollar a piece. Look how, is this the fullest cart you've ever seen or what? I don't think they're all gonna stay there, are they? Those boxes ended up being a pretty good find. It's a pretty perfect example of me never wanting to go to the store and buying something because I know it'll show up at the thrift eventually. I've said forever that I needed a couple of them, but I just haven't been able to been bothered to order any off Amazon or to go to the comic book store, you know, and buy them. Sure enough, those boxes right there will last me a long time. I think I've got enough comic books of my own to fill one of them up. That's the expanse of my comic book collection. However, they are just about the perfect size for some other comic book magazine type stuff that we want to sell in our toy booths, but there's no great way to display it. So there's six of them there. We have like four toy booths, so I'll be able to put one in each fill it up with stuff and that'd be good. So that was already just a great find. And then that CRT, I did already buy one this week. Uh, there was not really a huge need to buy the other one, but here in about two weeks, I've got a project, something visual I wanna do for these videos that I wanted to have three or four, maybe even five of those CRTs. So uh, maybe one of you will remember me saying this 
in a couple weeks time and uh, you can call back to this day of thrift where I bought it. But I'm really happy it's white. I don't have a white one. The one I have is gray and the black ones are common so I should be able to find a black one before I need to do that project and have a bunch of little CRTs, a wall full of CRTs. There's old Hannah. We're moving on to Savers number two. There is a bit of a line outside, so we're gonna have to wait in this 115 degrees heat, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Okay, so I don't really dabble in too much peanut stuff, but we've been buying some of it quite a bit lately. So I took a peek at this. I thought it was kind of cool and maybe it was valuable. Um, it'd be $5 today, so it goes for about 40 bucks or so. So I think it might be worth getting, so. Hi, you're coming home with me. Last couple half off days, the video games that have been in this box have pretty much been the same, but I think I'm seeing a couple things worth getting, so let's see if we can get a look at them. I'll just take those two, please. Dallas. Dallas, okay. Thank you. Oh, hey, that doesn't go there, but I'll take it. And then there's games not in the lockbox. Interesting. It's a bit rough. So I'm gonna do what I did last time I was here, and there were a bunch of games. I'm just gonna get all of them that are in good enough shape. Sell them in my toy booth. We're leaving with a big stack of games, so it's a good one. It's a good one. Sweet. These lids are actually kind of hard to find, and I find them without the lids, the like pans without the dishes, a ton. So I'm gonna grab these. Is this what I think it is? I think it is. Oh, baby. Heck yeah. I'm definitely buying that. Too bad it doesn't have a T on it though. Okay, so I scoured the jeans section and I found a little clump that is pretty decent. They're all pretty cheap, which I'm excited about. A bunch of Lee Riders, which I've been selling a lot lately, which is great. And then these babies. Just some teeny tiny vintage Wranglers and I'm super excited about it. Okay, they're not that old, but they're still worth getting. Um, one more Lee Ryder. There's some Beyblade stuff here. It's got a few good Beyblades in it, so we'll probably get that. Should have got a cart. It's a cart kind of day. Man, I love Saber's Day. I love it this much. I've got like a six foot 10 wingspan. That's how much I love it. <laughs> but here's the last one. And I doubt I'm gonna leave with as many video games from this one as I did the last one. Last time I was in here, uh, somebody else scooped them all up. But I got, I got lucky today. I got to scoop them up the other place. We didn't leave there with any crazy games, but it was all stuff that like we can resell in our toy booth. There were a few things I don't have, some UFC games and such, but we'll see how this goes. Excuse me. Let's go. Oh, this is pretty. Mm, 350. I've been making recycled candles, so this would be a really cute candle. 350 is a little more than I like to spend for them, but this is that's exceptionally pretty. Oh, look at there, pink basket. We're leaving with a couple games, nothing crazy, but Hannah and I are both pretty fond of tack too, so that's good. Oh, look at the cuties. I mean. That's too high a price for me to get them, but I love them. I love the golden butterfly, golden butterfly pattern. It's one of my absolute favorites, but um, sad. I have quite a bit of it at home though, so it's okay. We'll leave it for someone else. Ooh, it's a red one. Not sure that I really want to pay 250 for it though. I have been selling a lot of those at my toy booth though, full of Legos, so maybe. Three bucks is not bad. Spotted this little guy here. Um, I already have one in my booth. This one is nice because it does have the lid. The one I have doesn't. But um, since I already have one, I'm not gonna get it. Didn't notice these my first round. Some like Campbell's mugs. These bowls are cute. They're really not bad on price. They've got them priced together, $2.49 and $5. So that's not a bad deal. I'll put them in my booth. Oh my gosh! Right? Holy cannoli! How about, how Hermione! About that? Hermione! Check it out, guys. We've got another CRT over here. 
I really hoped when I brought it home that it was going to fit in the cubicle. I was 98% sure that it wasn't, so it's up on top now. But there's a weird little dream world in my head where all the cubicles around my new TV stand, which I built a couple episodes ago, would have CRTs in it. <laughs> it's not feasible. It's not ideal. It's a lot of power consumption. It wouldn't leave them on very often, probably just when we're doing this episode. Also, these CRTs have a difference in brightness. I mean, you can kind of tell on camera. I don't know how well you can see it, but like... It would take a lot of work to, if I could even change the brightness on the manually, which I can these two, but not that one, and that one's the brightest. It would take a lot of work to, like, actually put some films of some sort, some sort of uh, polarizing or um, neutral density filters over those screens to bring them all to the same brightness so they look good. So it's a lot of work that I don't really want to do, but it would be cool. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It would be cool for the backgrounds of videos. That's not necessarily what I'm trying to do, but I did want to get a few on there for an art project thing I, I wanted to do. But at any rate, this is now my nicest, cleanest CRT. The colors on it are really pretty. And it's the only one I have a remote with. You can program a remote to this one. And I'm sure I could get some sort of remote, a universal remote or something out for the small one. I don't know. I've never really messed with those little bitty ones. It came with a remote originally, but I didn't buy it. But I'm very happy about that white uh, CRT. It is beautiful. It's nice and clean. It's playing a Rugrats VHS right now, no problems. And uh, it's my find of the day. Sorry, spoilers. <laughs> let's run through all this stuff real quick. Just talk about. It. Let's go with. Let's go over what's in this box first, so I can put it away. You bought probably one of the coolest things today, Spock. Yes. And uh, Doctor Leonard McCoy. I finally, in my adulthood, at the age of 29, went back and watched all the original Star Trek episodes. Uh, I watched them pretty much in a straight shot. Uh, many, many days of Star Trek. There's a lot of Star Trek. <laughs> I just, I just gotten home from a like five month job. I was like, I'm gonna lay in bed for a week and watch TV. <laughs> it took a couple weeks. All right. Uh, what else did you get? I bought. I didn't get this on camera. This was in that first Savers. On the way out the door, I found it. It's a, it's a Hellboy piggy bank. And it's tiny. You can put like three dollars in there. Just like, you know. <laughs> I I promise you, I'll put that in my toy booth for something that seems like too much money, like seven or eight dollars. Somebody will buy it. Tupperware. Ooh, that almost that? looks. That almost looks like uh, what's the cream? Oh, um, like cold cream. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't know, but it looks like the cream tub. It's sticky. I don't like. Ooh, sticky. it is. <laughs> This one is two. Mystery substance. Ew. That one's got a coffee label on it. Very nice. This Tupperware. Come on, we're a little bright. You can see it back here. Um, very nice. That was a good find. Uh, so I bought six of these. Was there six of them? Yes. I only brought one inside. They're going to our storage unit, except for the one I need. Uh, and I'll have those saved up for when we need them later. I'm, and I'm going to need them pretty soon. Okay. I didn't know why you were buying that. I was like, I'm sure something in there. You didn't see these? I didn't see those. <laughs> Saw, dude. Um, the rest oh. of this is literal garbage. Yeah. I'm gonna, well, hey. I guess we better see what's in this. Oh, there's chalk. I should just, I should have just straight up acted like this is why I bought it. It's just some aerial chalk. It's princess chalk. I don't know what this is. The rest okay. of that's trash, though. Um, yeah, you got a lot of Tupperware. Talk about I the did. rest of these. A Spagooter container? Spagooter. <laughs> I can't take you seriously. <laughs> <laughs> You're so, so tough. That'll be Mr. Tindo to you. <laughs> these are my find of the day. Um, we've got the two little 501s. They're so cute. They got the little quilt pattern on them. Show, show the camera up nice and close. Well, it's a little, I'll have to stand in front of this light over here. How about that? Yeah. How about it? And I got one of the little cutie lids. They're so cute. I love them. All right, what else did we get? Um, this Luigi hat was one of my finds of the day. I was about to put it on, but you know, head lice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. Um, <laughs> I overpaid for this, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it was a Beyblade Arena. It had two Beyblades and a, and a third base. Uh, that's a Hot Wheel track, actually, this Great. one. Um, but yeah, these are actually some, these particular Beyblades sell pretty well, and I don't know why. I recognize the difference in some of the generations without knowing exactly which generation they are. 
I'll more than make my money back here because you know, I sell this particular arena for more than we just paid for it. And then this will go in a couple. Uh, I think I charge for these Beyblades with their launchers and complete like $7 a piece because these are some good ones. I think this arena is like 15 12 somewhere in there. So. Yeah, I don't remember how much we priced it for exactly, but I, I felt confident enough, in it, especially given how much Beyblade stuff we're selling. I mean, we already sold a bunch, but it got even better when I put a big Beyblade sign in our booth. People were like, give, me, hey. give them to me. Yeah. All right. We're all save that one. That's a bag full of games. I got some Charlie Brown. 50th anniversary snow globe. What have you done if the snow globe just fell off when I flipped it upside down like that? Uh, cried, I guess. How about that? Well, can't see through the <laughs> through the sticker. That's pretty. It's a music box too, but we can't show you that because it's copyright. Lol. Um, you got two Pyrex dishes or uh, corningware dishes? Uh, yeah, lids. Two lids. Those are hard to find. I find the big lids all the time, which is very surprising. But yeah, these babies, I have several of these dishes that need lids, so. Found my GoPro. Ooh. All right, talk about your jeans real quick, and then we'll keep going through what's in this Carol basket. Jeans are not spectacular, but for the price that they were, I was super happy about it. Got three pairs of Lee Rider jeans. So three different washes, which is great, three different sizes and a pair of teeny tiny women's wranglers and these even though they're not particularly old they're probably like 90s era but um they are actually cut for women so rather than getting a men's size that women will wear this one is a women's cut which makes it sell a lot better because girls like to wear girls jeans but they sometimes wear men's jeans all right uh very good it was cheap. Did it break? Nope, we're good. Okay, I knocked my lamp over. Um, Nerf gun, it was cheap, so we went ahead and got it. Uh, I like I like getting those, because I only sell them for like 12 bucks, but they always go, because that's the cheap big gun that the kids can talk their mom into getting. The amount of money we've made in the last year from uh, darts, the throwing kind, not the shooting kind. <laughs> Um, and there's actually a couple in here I recognize that we've sold before. Um, and then, I don't know, we've never sold any with NFL logos, but there's a few, there's a few of these NFL ones over here, so that's pretty dope. And then for some reason, I feel like I've seen the ones with spiders on them, I don't know. But we've several times sold big bulks of darts. I, I think we brought a bag of them home from the, the bins once. And we were like, whatever, eBay, 15 bucks. And then the next time, not knowing anything, it's not something that's easy to research. So many brands, so many different fin types. Um, I think we put the next one up for 20 and then 25 and I think we sold like the last big bunch of darts for like 35, 40 bucks. Yeah. It was, it was maybe roughly that amount. This has way more darts than it does fins. Yeah, and the one, the last one we sold, I remember had a lot more fins than it did darts. Mm. And most of them, most of the like tips were broken on them. And somebody still was like, heck yeah, that's yeah. a bargain. I'm well, like, sure. I, unfortunately, there was a lady leaving the thrift store today, too. I don't know if you saw her. She had a dartboard, a cork dartboard. Oh, really? Yeah, and I, she probably would have really, really wanted those. Yeah. I'm sure whoever she was was, like, buying it for her house or her man cave. I don't know. <laughs> her she shed. Her she shed. Uh, two pops today. Hermione and Permione. <laughs> It doesn't say that, does it? No, I just made it up. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm happy. I guess that's when she drank the polyjuice potion and it went all wrong. And then this one's when she's in the the in uh, herbology with the little screaming baby plant. I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> Great description. That's what it is. <laughs> doesn't doesn't it matter what it's called. Doesn't it scream and you got to wear the earplugs and yeah, it'll kill you? Yeah, that's she's got the earmuffs on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, whoa, those are nice. Talk about those. These, some... Campbell soup bowls. Oh, you got cups too. And matching cups. Are those matching? Here, let's show them this. Well, okay, I guess you. All right, long arms. <laughs> okay, she also got these cups. Those are quite nice. I can appreciate that. Uh, your those will sell real well in your booth. Yeah. This is the same cup. I guess there's a girly on the other side. They're from 2004, so. Oh yeah, somebody will go nuts over those. Heck yeah. We're, you know, we've done a lot of reselling in our antique booths. 
it, before we even started doing it on the video. And like, so we have like a moderate amount of experience, but we never sold dishes and collectible dishes and stuff like that. And it just amazes us to no end what kind of BS we can put in her dish booth. And people are just like, yes. Um, this is very nice. Fun fact about the bowl, though, is there's this is this is a brand on there that I actually have a ton of canisters by, and I've never seen anything else with that brand. That's very really nice. cool. Anyway, what is this thing? That I'm gonna make a candle out of. Okay. It's just really pretty. It is very pretty. All right, is that all your stuff? Yeah. All right, I've got a big old bag of video games. Now, there's nothing like otherworldly awesome in here. Yesterday was a really great day for games because I brought home some games that I really wanted. Actually, yesterday was a pretty good and bad day because I brought home a bunch of games that were awesome and I found equally awesome games that like were missing the discs and stuff like that. Uh, but today, today's a quantity over quality kind of day. There's just a bunch of here, stuff here that is great for our toy booth. Anytime I can put a video game in our toy booth for like two or three dollars or a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less, it'll sell. So I'll pretty much put these games right at or below price charting, put them in, my, in the toy booth, and they'll sell. I'm pretty confident. But we got Assassin's Creed for the PS3. Very nice. Uh, Guitar Hero 3 for the PS3. And I guess the disc trade's broken in that one. Uh, SSX on tour. And that's actually what I don't have, I believe. And then TAC 2, I can't remember if we have it for Xbox or not. I feel as though we do. We've definitely got it on PS2. But it'd be nice if I don't have it on Xbox to put that in the collection. An actual uh, Formula 1 game that I don't have, which is pretty awesome. Uh, Formula 1 2001. So, that's a good one. And then Ballers NBA Phenom. Is that what that says? It's hard to read with these glasses. <laughs> Really excited about this one. I actually didn't realize it was on the PS2 because I have it on PSP and I actually have multiple copies of it on PSP, greatest hits and non-greatest hits. And I, you, one could have assumed, I, I guess, that it was on the PS2. I'd rather play it on PS2 on this big CRT than I would on the PSP, just personally, so I'm glad it is there. And I think it's the same game. I've never played the handheld one either so but secret agent clank very happy about that and i've actually been buying up some of these guitar heroes uh because i we do have some inbox guitar heroes but they're missing the game in discs and i have some extra guitar hero guitars so we're gonna start kind of packaging that stuff up for our toy booth and then ooh, ooh, hands. got it uh regular guitar hero a game i definitely don't have pride fc fighting championship brutal super excited about that uh, UFC Throwdown, I don't have that one either. Very happy about that. Tarzan Untamed, I'm 98% sure I don't have this, and I think this is probably going to be my video game find of the day. I just like throwing those Disney games in my collection, and then being mint condition. Uh, that's perfect. It's basically untouched. I really shouldn't have bought this one. But, you know, I did. Impulse. Actually, I'll tell you what, I, I'm not sure if it's in my collection or not. There's a lot of PS2 games... I'm trying to like collect them all. I mean, that's the ultimate goal, I guess. But sometimes I pass up PS2 games that I don't have in my collection because most of the time they're three or four dollars for like the Sing Star stuff and the karaoke and some of the DDR stuff that there's. It's not worth actually paying three dollars for. It's worth paying a dollar for. So I've almost trained myself to just ignore it. But I do like to buy that stuff when it is like half off day or I can get it for a dollar or a dollar two, like I did that one. Hot Shots Golf Four. There's so many Hot Shots Golf games. I actually don't know if I have that one. Uh, all these games I don't have will be going on the shelf, and the rest will be going to our toy booth. But I imagine most of these are going to the toy booth. This one's not. I don't have this for sure. Airborne Troops. Countdown to D-Day. Very happy. Very, very happy about that. Tiger Woods, PGA Tour 04. The Sims busting out. Hey. hey. Uh, Medal of Honor European Assault. X-Men Legends, which I do have. This is in despicable shape, though. You see all that dirt and water Ooh. damage? Yeah, kind of a bummer. Then I've got this one, Taurus Trophy. But that was just, you know, a bunch of games, which I'm pretty happy about. Did I break it? Uh, don't think so. We're good. When we bring halls like that home, we need a bigger table. Heck yeah. <laughs> we're, uh, we're running out of room here. Uh, 
That was a lot of stuff. That was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot to go through. What's your favorite thing that you brought home today? Oh my gosh. Um, probably my little my little five hundred ones because I'm obsessed with them. Very nice. I found two yellow ones, and I found a red one that was in deplorable condition, so I didn't actually buy it. So I can't say that I found a red one. Oh my god, I'm gonna break this thing. We've got to break some today, after no. all this. <laughs> But yeah, these are five of the day. These are tricky to find. They pop up every once in a while. What's yours? I'm I don't know. I'm trying to rewind the. We ran out of tape. There we go. We ran out of uh, Rugrats. My favorite thing that I got today. It's a tough decision. It's nice. The blade bit. The bit. <laughs> the bay blades were cool because they were good ones. But it's probably not favorite. CRT, I guess. Why aren't you? Re now it's disobeying me. Well, is it demoted from find of the day? Actually, I wonder if it was rewound. I wonder if I hadn't been paying attention long enough and it rewound itself. Uh -huh. I'm thinking that's probably the case. We'll see. See if cartoon comes up. Oh, nope. See, that was the end. We'll just let it rewind. I actually watched half of it before we started recording this because there was somebody outside mowing grass. So we had to like, that's loud. So we like had to wait 30 minutes before we could do this wrap up. So I got a couple episodes of Rugrats in. That's my find of the day. Uh, just, it's nice to have a little one with a remote to pop the VHS into. I have a VCR right up here that usually plugs into the bigger CRT, but since I just installed that uh, shelf and it's actually moving, I don't love it there. I'm gonna put it over here, I think, or maybe even scoot all my shelves around. Over. I don't know, but I'm, gonna, I'm making more changes as we go in the game room here. And uh, I'll eventually plug that back up and run some VHS on it. But that's my find of the day. What's your favorite thing I got? I'll tell you my favorite thing Ooh. you got. Favorite thing that you got would be... Think hard about it. I think Permione. 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 <laughs> My favorite thing you got is this snow globe. It's pretty cool, isn't it? That's a good one. And we'll sell that pretty quick, too, I think. It's pretty. You guys comment below before we get out of here. What's your favorite thing that we brought home today? Uh, Star Trek. It? Star Trek cups. <laughs> Star Trek. Star Trek. Star Trek cups. Uh, video. It was there. I guess maybe comment below. Let me know what your favorite video game was. I'm. We're probably gonna throw this in tonight and chill. Tarzan and chill. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That actually, sounds kind of bad. Sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> Let's push place. Check this. It's so nice having a remote. I'm so in love with it. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that, but Chucky just snuggled himself into bed. All right. Well. Guys, thanks for hanging out with us. Do comment below before we go what's your favorite thing we got today. And also, before we get out of here, do me another big favor. Check out our merch store, tendostrash.com. It's pretty sweet. Uh, I have a few shipments going out tomorrow. If you've ordered glasses, sunglasses, not these, but somewhat similar to these, uh, we our, our stock was out, and I just made a huge reorder of Tendo shades. Huge, like, I think I just got 100 pairs in. Because we've sold... <laughs> We sold so many. Um, so if you've been waiting on pair of shades, I apologize if they're late. They're coming uh, for your weight. I'm throwing in a little extra something, something. Matter of fact, next little while, if you guys order some Tindo shades or pretty much anything else on Tindo's trash, we got a little extra something, something coming for you. Uh, a little, a little extra something, something. Extras. The extras. <laughs> um, also, before we get out of here, do me a really big favor and check out our Discord. It's a good time to be over there. Lots of people joined today, yesterday. Um, matter of fact. It just hit 400, and it's kind of weird. Uh, maybe this is Providence, Destiny, one of those things. Probably not, but it's neat anyways. Like, almost at the exact same time, we hit 400 people on the Discord. 4,000. I just, we're about to, and we're, then we're about to hit 4,000 subs and 4,000 followers on Instagram at the same time. It's really strange. Uh, I'll show you a screenshot right now where, as of shooting this video... Right before we started, where our sub count and Instagram followers were. Weird, right? <laughs> and they, they met. They met right there. It's pretty neat, I think. But that's it, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Before you get out of here, pretty please, uh, hit that subscribe button. Please. Uh, we'll get to 4,000 real soon if you would just hit it now. Uh, you know, when you're our size, we have, what, almost 4,000 subs? Like I wouldn't remember, I just said it. Um, 
a lot of people I mean, look at your favorite YouTubers, however big they are. They're gonna have like a million subs, but maybe a hundred thousand daily views if they're lucky. And then sometimes they have a video that spikes or whatever that trends and they have almost a million views but by and large most youtubers have a viewership that is way is a very small portion of their sub count uh, we've been lucky to grow just fast enough that most of our original viewers are still here comment below if you've been watching for a long time and you're still here um, so it's a pretty interesting time for us to be doing this because right now we've just we've got our whole sub audience here that won't last you know what I mean because we're gonna keep doing this we're gonna keep posting daily videos and not everybody is going to be able to put up with a daily dose of us. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> not everybody wants to look look at this kind of thing every every day. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so, like, we're going to get to 10,000 subs. It's probably coming pretty quick. But who knows how many people will still be watching when we get there. So I say all this to say I'm, I'm really thankful for you guys that have subbed this far and have stuck around. Because for us to be where we are right now and still have most of you watching... Uh, it makes this all worth it, you know. I appreciate you guys sticking around. But, at the same time, I know there's a bunch of new people here. So, uh, because <laughs> it's confusing. I know there's a bunch of new people here because I get analytics that tell me what portion of people watching are and are not subs. And even though we have 4,000 subs, only about 2,000, about half of those people are subbed. So there's a whole 1,500 people watching probably today that haven't hit the sub button yet. Sub for these glasses. They're dope. If we get if we get like a hundred subs today, I'll wear them out thrifting <gasps> in the next video after. Oh my god, please do it! <laughs> please tell, hit listen, the sub button. Sub and tell me that you subbed. And if there's an overwhelming amount of people doing that, your bro your boy's going to the thrift store like this. Walking to Goodwill, be like, good morning, ma'am. Do you like my glasses? <laughs> I should I should just walk in the thrift door. Every time I walk in the door, just Tindo is here. <laughs> And everybody's like, what? What's a Tendo? What's that? You mean like the Nintendo? And then like someone a... picks up a PlayStation 3. Is this a Nintendo? <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm sorry that you had to sit through all this. We're going to get out of here. Do know before we get out of here that we post daily videos here on this channel. So if you liked what you saw today in any way, even if you didn't like all this talky talk, you know what? Come back tomorrow and just watch up to the point where we come in here and start talking. I don't care. You still hit the play. You still hit play. I still get the view. So... If you liked anything at all, come back tomorrow, check us out then, and until then guys, hold on, let me give you one more. Peace out.